let's talk about Bronson MFG. Welcome to my channel, my name is James and I like clothes and well-made things and today I wanna to talk to you about Bronson MFG. For those of you who are not familiar, I just recently picked up two t-shirts from them, but let's get into the brand itself. So Bronson MFG is a Hong Kong based clothing company. They have been around since 2012 and they are inspired by American heritage. So you're gonna see everything from classic t-shirts to fatigue pants and I think their quality for money is going to be really great. I have the loop wheel tubular knit t-shirt and then the 1940s US Navy slubby cotton t-shirt. I've been wearing them for about two weeks and I'm going to give you my impressions on them. Let's get into the loop wheel tubular knit. I love the packaging that it came in so I've been wearing it so it's put away but the packaging is super super cool. I love the kind of feel to it. It's very inspired by you know US military or US kind of 50s and 60s. When I originally purchased the t-shirt, I purchased a large. I assumed it was gonna be kind of more of like a Japanese sizing. I traditionally wear a medium in US clothing and then a large in Japanese clothing. So I initially put the purchase out and I got an email probably within like four or five hours of when I placed the order and they asked me for my measurements and they would recommend going up a size. So I was a little hesitant because I already was going up a size and I gave them my measurements. The lady's name I believe was Amy or Annie. She recommended me going up to an XL. That was crazy to me because I have never worn an XL like in my life. The only time I've ever gone like that much larger in a piece of clothing was when I was like 16 and my parents thought I was like on a growth spurt and that I would eventually grow into it, which I never did and I still have like my XL Letterman jacket. However, they were right. They came in about two weeks. So unfortunately, when I placed the order, the large was available, but the XLs weren't. So they put me on the top of their list for their like next batch to come in. So when that batch came in, they shipped it out. The whole thing took about two, two and a half weeks, which was surprising, especially to like come through China and go through customs and things of that nature. But the t-shirt itself is a loop wheeled 10.5 ounce t-shirt. The color that I got is just classic white. It fits me really well in the areas that I want it to fit. I'm not 100% convinced that it is loop wheel just because traditionally loop wheeling has some sort of like imperfection and slubbiness and kind of weirdness to it because it's a looser knit. This is tight. It feels more like a tubular knit than, than a loop wheel. So take that with a grain of salt. However, the weight is great, the size is great, it fits me well around the arms, the collar is nice. My only issues that I have is it's a bit boxy and it's a bit long. That'll be fine if you're over 5'8", say you're 5'10 or 5'11", it'll probably fit you perfectly. But for you guys that are shorter like I am, it might be a little bit long. I'll probably end up cropping it personally. However, I really like it and I think it's a great thing. I will say that I'm, I don't think I am a heavyweight t-shirt kind of person. I've decided that over buying a few and a number of few, like it's not necessarily my style, but overall it's a great t-shirt. It definitely punches above its weight class. I would say it's way better than a Uniqlo t-shirt at that price point for $27. I paid $27 for a loop wheel t-shirt. So it's pretty impressive. It definitely shoots above its weight and definitely worth the port purchase if you're getting into t-shirts and getting into like heritage. Now we're gonna talk about the t-shirt that I actually really like, and this is the 1940s US Navy slubby cotton t-shirt. So this t-shirt is more like a 19, obviously a 1940s, it's made for the Navy, so it's thinner, and it's got like a shorter sleeve. The cotton itself is an American cotton and it is 7.8 ounces. This is my favorite of the two t-shirts. The color that I got is like a grayish brown, oatmeal maybe it's gonna be the color, and I really like it. It fits me extremely well. It's long enough that I can tuck in, but short enough where I feel like if I wanna wear it loose, it looks fine. It fits around your body perfectly. It does have the side seam, so if you're worried about that, there's just different nuances and it's just so soft. The cool thing that I like about it is around the edges, around like the hips, it's got button areas where obviously at some point when you were wearing it in the Navy, it was designed to like button to your slacks so you wouldn't your t-shirt wouldn't come up as you're working out or something along those lines. So I do think that is a really kind of cool touch that they did for that. I went with an XL on this as well and overall it's been really great and I'm happy that I've got that. I will say from a personal level, I much prefer the 1940s t-shirt than I do the, the, the loop wheel t-shirt. Regarding the pricing, one was $33 marked down to 27 and then this one is I think was like 
45 marked down to like 40. All together, I paid like $77 for two t-shirts. That's including shipping and tax. So it's really an amazing price point, but I really prefer the 1940s as far as my fit and my style and everything along those lines. Now let me get into whether I would buy them again. And the answer is yes for like just t-shirts. Like if I'm gonna like, if I'm running out of white t-shirts and they're all dingy and gross and crappy, this is when I would probably redo my t-shirts. Right now I've got some Uniqlo ones that are kind of on the back end. And then unfortunately my double RL t-shirts that I really liked, and those are inspired by the 1940s US Navy as well, are actually starting to get holes in them. They've only, they're only about 18 months old, two years old. So that is an un, kind of bummer. However, I will probably end up getting rid of those and buying these as like, those kind of alternative t-shirts. I personally think that if you're looking to invest in a good t-shirt and you're looking to have something that is a bit more long lasting and lifelong, I would recommend going towards something that is a part of like the tradition. So I, I love the idea of making something in China and saving that cost and, and things of that nature. And that's why for me, like if you're buying Uniqlo, this is a great alternative. However, if you're looking for like an investment t-shirt, like something from like Wonder Looper or 316 or Buzz Rick or anything of those like high-end brands, I would recommend moving away from this and using these as like your starter t-shirt and then moving up to these. You're not gonna get the same amount of like touch that you would buy a person that is making like a 316 t-shirt being made in the US, being over dyed and it's worth to spend 50 to $80 as opposed to 25 to 30. I'm not sitting there saying that you should only get the expensive stuff because this is a good tool in a toolbox. However, I would rather invest in something that I'm gonna look at every day, know the history and the heritage and the excitement around it. Now I wanna go into the brand itself. So again, Bronson MFG, their stuff is really, really cool. Like the fatigue pants are great. So if you're looking for a good alternative to something a little bit more expensive, the 107s, the 507s are all amazing. Their denim is actually surprisingly well. Like if you're on the fence between like, oh, I'm looking to get into denim, but I'm not 100% sure where I wanna go, then I think that, that this is a great alternative than like Uniqlo or J. Crew, right? So they're, they do a 15 ounce like slubby cotton denim denim that is raw that you can wash and wear and learn how to like what you like about denim. And it's like under a hundred dollars. It's hard to beat a price like that for a 15 ounce denim. If you're looking to build something and you're looking to start a wardrobe, something like that, I highly recommend this brand. I think their stuff is really amazing. I think quality for money is, is great, but I do recommend staying true to like 316, Buzz Rickson, Lady White, Mersby Schwannen, and, and kind of trying that out as well, just because you're getting more artisans as opposed to like manufacturing. Thank you for coming. Make sure you like and subscribe. My name is James and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.